Okay, so many people have these little tires like this. This is a uh, tire off of a wood splitter. Same kind of tire used on small trailers, uh, riding mowers, things like that. This particular one here has a problem where it's leaking. And my friend says it keeps leaking down all the time. So we're going to check it out and we're going to fix it. I have a feeling where it's leaking is the bead. All right, so I let it sit overnight and already we're down to like 10 pounds of pressure. So first we're going to check is see if it's leaking around the bead. So we're going to put some air in. So you need to have an air compressor to make this part work, right? So we're going to put it up to 30 pounds, which is what this is supposed to be. All right, so it's filled up to pressure. Got a cup of soapy water right here. Put a little bit of soapy water around the edge. Doesn't have to be soapy water, could just be regular water. Now what we're looking for, is we're looking for bubbles. There are bubbles forming right over here. And, looks like it might be over here too. Let's see. Looking for bubbles. And I'm listening out for a truck that's supposed to be coming. And the truck's here. So I'm going to stop this right now. So, it's almost, sometimes the bubbles come up real slow. You just see them just barely. It'll just be a bubble every once in a while. Now I'm going to check the other side. Flip it over, do the same thing. All right, this side, same thing. I'm seeing a couple bubbles coming up over here. You have to watch it carefully because sometimes it's not bubbling and then it will start bubbling. Like right here, I thought I saw some bubbles. Yeah, I'm seeing bubbles. Okay, so <clears throat> that's enough to warrant this repair. So, at Advanced Auto Parts, they sell this stuff right here. It's called Tire Bead Sealer. Bead Sealer. Now, they don't keep this out on the shelf, It's and it's not on their website, but it's behind the counter because it's for commercial use only. For commercial use only. So... This is what the uh, people use when they're installing tires. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop it off the bead, which isn't hard to do with a little tire like this, and then we're going to brush this stuff on around the edge of the tire, and then put the air back in there to fill it back up again, and this will seal around the bead. So I don't have any fancy high-end tools here for working on tires, so, and I can't find my tire valve removal tool. I do actually have one of those, but I can't find it. So we're going to wipe the water off of this, and then we're going to just take a, I just take a little Torx screwdriver, and I'm just going to push the needle in here, let the rest of the air out of this. Now. Unlike a car tire where you have to like pop, pop it off of the rim, this should just come right off of this rim once we let all the air out. But you got to get all the air out, which is why I'm holding the valve in right now. Got to let it all the way out. Yep, see, we're coming off the beat right here. Coming off the rim. All right. so, yep. All right, see? Alright, so we're off the rim. Same with this side. Get off the rim. Don't knock the camera over. There we go. Okie doke. Wipe off all the soapy water. 
Get that out of our way. cleaned up because you want it to be clean and dry because basically what this stuff is this is like um it's like a uh, model airplane glue I need something to open up the can and we need some rubber gloves to keep the chemicals off our hands Ready for surgery. Surgery on the tire. It's like 28 degrees out here today. It's very cold. Which makes getting the gloves easier. Well, and easier, that's for sure. And I have the cool black mechanics gloves, but I just can't find them. So. All right, let's see here. La, 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 la. Yep. Okay. So. I might take this off the bucket temporarily while I'm doing this part. Let's see how we can do it here. We got a rag handy and another rag. Ooh, look at that. It's black and gooey. Oh, man. Woo. What we're doing is, is uh, we're just brushing this all the way around the rim. It's like tar. don't need a ton of it, you just need to brush it on there because it's going to, it's just to help make a seal. What a big old mess. sitting here painting on the inside of the room. There's probably an easier way to do this, but I can't think of one right now. So. In a few minutes, we're going to be unboxing our new lawn tractor. It just got delivered. Because this is a small tire, it's actually going to sit on the rim okay, possibly, and I should be able to put air back in it without having to uh, use the strap techniques, let's see. Maybe not. There it goes. Back up to 30 PSI. Bring my bucket back. 
Get you closer. All right, right now we're at 33 PSI. More like, yeah, 33. So, we're gonna wipe this off and see how long it stays and if it stays 33 PSI. I don't know if it's okay to leave this stuff on the outside edge of the tire. Because I think it's kind of like a, it probably melts stuff a little bit, so it's probably not that good to keep on the outside of the tire. Kind of stick into the tire. There's like a lump of it here. That's pretty cool. All right. So we're going to wait and come back to this a little bit. <clears throat> Let it sit for a while. See if it holds air. See if we're good.